Hi everyone, I'm Captain Ron Gothier and we're in Alaska for a King Salmon adventure. Today's adventure takes us to Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage is located in South Central Alaska. Nowadays, nearly half of Alaska's 600,000 residents live in Anchorage. We arrive at Anchorage Airport and take a taxi to Lake Hood. Where we meet Mike Murphy, the pilot and owner of Three Rivers Lodge. Mike is a second generation pilot with over 25,000 log flight hours and has been flying with Aloha Airlines for over 20 years. We're heading north about 75 miles to Lake Creek. On the way, Mike shows us a glacier, one of many here. We're approaching the lodge, and there is Lake Creek, flowing into the Yenta River. Our hosts take us up the creek to show us some wildlife and other beautiful sights. We spot this moose relaxing in the grass and his big antlers are in full velvet. Look at the size of the tree these beavers been trying to chew down. King salmon are the largest of the Pacific salmon, with some individuals growing more than 100 pounds. These huge fish are rare as most mature kings are under 50 pounds. The next morning after breakfast, we load up with one of the guides and head up the creek in search of King Sam. Fishing starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 11 p.m. every day. This ensures a lot of fish will make it up the creek to spawn. Although with 24 hours of daylight, it's good to take a watch. All right, Kenny. We're here with Kenny Wright, and we're on Lakewood Creek for this king salmon. And uh, Kenny's gonna show us some rigs that we're using up here. Some effective rigs that he uses. Um, we're, first, we're starting with Power Pro. Uh, it's an 80 pound Power Pro we got here, and uh, we got going down to a 50 mono liter. And uh, we're just going to do a little back trolling with some uh, flat fish and some wiggle works. Um, you're gonna, we're going to do drops and with them. What do you call them? 
Well, Spinner. we're gonna use uh, so your box flat fish right here. All right, these things right here. These work pretty good. Yeah, flat fishes. Yep. Okay, they work pretty good. And uh, good, we got these as well. Okay. And uh, what we'll do now is uh, we'll put. We got four guys, so we'll put two of these on and two of those, and two or three. And, yeah, see which working better, and, uh, and we'll take it from there. Okay. We're in our spot, getting a little rigging done. And uh, I'll show you guys a king salmon from Alaska. There are many other fishermen here, some on the banks casting across the creek and others on boats. Fish on! When you're gonna release a fish, Kenny, you say you gotta keep them in the water. Yep, yep. All right. And uh, this looks like a female. Is this a female? It is a female, yep. Okay. It's a nice fish. She's nice doing, a, right. doing a nice journey way up the river here, isn't she? Yep. Beautiful. Just revive her a little bit. Yep. She's almost ready. Here she goes. Right. Ready to swim yet? There we go. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice release. Yeah. All right. Good job, Good job. Kenny. All right. That didn't take very long. No, it didn't. Well, there's the first one in the boat. Female. Released, unharmed. Let's go after the trophy. We head back up the creek for another hookup. King salmon like fast or high volume rivers. Look at this pretty rainbow. Not only we got a lot of salmon here, but we got rainbow trout too as well. Isn't that pretty? There he goes. All right, rainbow trout, last style. All the boats here use jet drives because of all the rocks and the debris in the water. Wow, look at that bald eagle over there on that log. Nice. We're doing the best method right now of yeah. catching these fish. Early in the season, the best way is to run these plugs like we're doing right now. And uh, a little later, you know, it's better to use a little smaller presentation like the spinning glows and we back bounce them, you know. And uh, they, seem to, they seem to get a little more finicky, you know, later in the season. And they've seen so many of these plugs that they won't, they'll, they'll quit taking them after a while. All right, right now spinning glows are working. It's real hot right now and the fish are taking them. So we're going to tie a spinning glow to it. And what we're going to do is take a swivel, slide it on your line. We're using 30-pound Power Pro. 
And then we're going to take your other swivel and tie that to your line terminal. Now this is ready to go. And I'm going to clip on a swivel with a glove. Catch a fish. Let's go. There we go. Fish on. It's on. Ain't nothing better than Alaska to me now. You fish the edges of the clear water, and the battle usually takes you out to the cloudy Yetna River before landing the fish. <laughs> nice fish, yeah. How's the shower? Woo! These fish. fish migrate hundreds of miles from the ocean up the Yetna River to the creeks that they were born. Nice fish, yeah! All right. Woo! Woo! Now these are fish yeah. here, boy. Nice fish, good job. You're a great guy here, man. Thanks. Anybody wants to come out here and catch these <laughs> monster? Alaskan king salmon. Go to the website. His number and the lodge is on the site, and you come out here and enjoy some of the best salmon fish you ever see in your life. The next morning, we went out with Captain Willie to try to catch an even bigger king. Well, we pulled off the hog line. Got a big fat king around here. And we're gonna try to get him in a net and show you what an Alaskan king will look like. This huge male king took us miles down the river in an unbelievable battle of power and stamina. This is why we came to Alaska to show you monster king salmon like this. Woo! Look at the size of this fish. Y'all got to get up here one day. All right, we got Alaskan king salmon here. I'm going to show you how to fillet it. We're going to leave the skin on it because we're going to bring it to a processing plant to get smoked in Anchorage. Um, so the first thing you want to want to do is you want to slide your knife down the backbone along the bones and take the top off. First thing you want to do. Always try to work a knife away from you. You're going to run that knife in. This is separating the meat from the rest of the bones, all right? You're going to cut the top back behind the peck fin. You're going to run down. And you're going to bring this meat all the way to here. Okay, wow, this is some beautiful meat. All right, you're going to run down. The world record king salmon is 97 pounds, 4 ounces, caught in 1985. And the king salmon is the Alaska state fish, adopted in 1962. Wow, this is a lot of meat on this fish. What a nice fish. Now that we got the meat off, it's deboned, it's got the skin on, it's ready to go to the smokehouse. So I'm going to smoke this one up. Um, other ways you can do the salmon is you can steak it or you can fillet it and remove the skin for different recipes. But um, this one, like I said, we left the skin on because we're going to smoke this fish. All right, we got these fresh salmon fillets of this fish we caught today. And what we're going to do is to blacken these fillets, um, we're going to portion it up and then we're going to dry it off. And that way your rubs will stick to the fish during the blackening cooking. So um, first off, careful with a sharp knife all the time, is you're going to take a good portion size, which is right about here. We're going to cut them. I'm going to take the fillet. I'm going to cut them in several portions, all right? I'm going to take my paper towel, and we're going to dab these fish off, just like this. And then I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to lay it over here on the screen. And Helen 
We're going to what? Rub some butter on it, right? Brush it with some butter, melted butter. Okay. And then the rub we're using, now you made this rub because uh, this is your famous rub, right? That's right. All right, so what's in your rub? This is a combination of some cayenne pepper, some paprika, a little bit of uh, grated lemon zest, some cumin, a little bit of brown sugar, salts, fresh ground pepper. Hmm. Okay, so we put the butter on that helps stick everything to it, right? That's right. Okay. I want to use a good amount of this rub on here. Mm. Smells really good. Yes, it does. Mm. It'll taste good too. This is gonna be great. And that paprika gives it a real nice color. All right, that looks good. Oh, now that's a prep salmon, blackened salmon. All right, now we're gonna show you how to season up these salmon bellies. Now you never waste any part of a fish. Um, the cheeks are very good too. We got the belly meat, we got the fillets. You get many parts on fish that are very good. So what we're gonna do is take these bellies and we got them all cleaned up and rinsed off for us. And we're gonna put a sauce on them and then sprinkle some herb ready for the grill. And Helen, what kind of sauce did you make for us today? Well, today we have an oriental um, sauce that has a combination of some citrus and, and uh, apple and uh, various spices. Okay. We're gonna glaze that over the bellies and then sprinkle on this um, dry rub, which is a combination of some dill and salt, and then we'll put some fresh ground pepper on. All right, so these bellies, what I'll do is I'll just lay them here flat, skin side down, and we'll lay them here just like so. So I'll just rub some of this glaze on. So give it a really nice flavor, nice color. What do you think, Captain? Yeah, a little I think bit you more sauce. A little on more heavier. Okay. I tasted that sauce. That's pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your hands are dry, so why don't you sprinkle it on? Mm -hmm. You could really use any kind of a sauce or a rub, doesn't matter. They're even delicious, Whatever just done like. plain. Mm -hmm. Whatever herbs you like it yourself, I mean, you can't go wrong with this, that's for sure. Well, dill's always a natural with salmon. What do you think about some pepper? Absolutely. All right, put some fresh ground pepper on it. Oh. Don't these look wonderful? That is looking great. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm going to put this salmon right on here. You No need to oil this. You want it just right on this very hot griddle. We've had the salmon now on the griddle for two or three minutes and it's already starting to get nice and blackened. So it's time to turn it over. And you can see how it's getting a beautiful blackening on it. This cooks, this method cooks m the fish much more quickly than most methods, so you really have to keep an eye on it. You can see that it's getting a nice uh, cooking here right along the edge. You can actually see that the thin interior is quite pink. These two are done. I'm going to take these off. i a platter here. Put it right out on the platter. Here we go. I'm going to put these on the grill. And uh, whenever you grill salmon with the skin on, you don't want to put anything on the grill. You want the skin to stick, you know? So you're going to lay your fish on, skin side down. I'm going to lay it down just like this. And when it close the lid, and we'll get some heat going. And we'll give it a few minutes, and we'll come back and check it. Oh, yeah, there it is. They look good. Oh, look at that. Pork tender, just perfect. You take your spatula, and you run it under the skin and slide it up. And you can pull the meat off and leave the skin right there. See that trick? That's how you want to do it. Look at that. Salmon bellies. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. We're ready for dinner. This is going to be tasty. Let's go. Take a trip from the ordinary and explore our world. I'm Captain Ron Gothy, and I'll see you next week on Ocean Explorer. Cheers. 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 Hey. Cheers.